San Francisco senior Tim Dirksen is making a name for himself with the Dons. He's improved every season since arriving on campus, and this year he's the second leading scorer of the team, averaging around 15 points a game. This is impressive, but it's his work with the community where he truly excels. Here's Ezra Broder with the story. On the court, he's come up big time and time again. Dirksen, he'll try for three to tie. But off the court, in the classroom, in the community, is where Tim Dirksen really excels. We want to reach out and make sure our people in our city uh, and people that we come in contact know that we care, you know, and that we're here to help them in all the things that they do. We do have a lot of power as Division I athletes to help these individuals and, and reach out to the community to, to help them. The San Francisco senior values his work outside of the gym as much as anything he's accomplished during his four years on the Hilltop. It's not about the wins or losses. It's not about the successes of the things on the court. It's, it's really about the process, the journey, and the, the individuals that you meet. And to be able to give those same opportunities to other individuals, it's is what's most important. We want our guys to achieve at the highest levels um, academically, um, in the community, and, and then obviously on the court. In the classroom, Harper for Kids preaches the building blocks from John Wooden's Pyramid of Success. Sports, you know, means the world to them, and to be able to get out in the community and work with those kids and show them the work that it takes to be successful, not only as an athlete, but, you know, as, as a person, um, it means a lot to me. In the community, assisting the 6,600 plus homeless persons of San Francisco through Harmonic Humanity, which gives out food and shelter to people like Alan. Being a young adult, I got kicked out of the house because I was, I was, honestly, we were poor. I was selling drugs and my mom wasn't having it. So by, like, by the time I was 17, I was out. It's hard to really imagine sometimes a life outside of this gym or in the school and to be able to see that and see, you know, kind of the real world. Um, it's difficult sometimes because we have it so good and a lot of times we take that for granted. And in the gym, Dirksen and the Dons team up with eHoops, a program that works with children with special needs honing their basketball skills. And be able to work with kids that um, aren't capable of doing a lot of the things, you know, the majority of kids uh, today can do. is something that was um, awesome to do. Our guys get more out of it than the people that they're helping. They really do. And, and there's no doubt in my mind, they come to really appreciate how blessed and how fortunate uh, we are each and every day. That's been ingrained in Dirksen from a young age, being the son of a coach. In the game of basketball, it's not an individual sport, and you genuinely have to care and serve those around you. And he's as good as any player I've ever had of serving and caring and teaching and leading uh, those guys around him. I just think that that's what I was born to do. I was born to inspire people through sports, through basketball. Whatever he decides to do, he's going to be successful because he understands it's, it's bigger than him. It's about helping those around. He's got that skill down. He understood that before he got here. You know, hopefully we've helped him, you know, in his journey uh, to do the things that he wants to do. For the WCC This Week, I'm Ezra Broder.